It is the latest addition to Denver's historic lower downtown neighborhood. McGregor Square is the complex under construction just right across the street from Coors Field. Construction is in the final stages now and John Glasgow is at McGregor Square to give us a preview of what to expect when it opens in just a few months. In Denver's historic lower downtown, we're about 80% done, is a new modern high rise complex. We have uh, Union Stations about three blocks down that way. McGregor Square spans a city block built on an old parking lot next to Coors Field, designed to blend in with the old neighborhood. Lodo is such a great dynamic area and we wanted it to be a part of it, not something that just looked like we dropped it in. Patrick Walsh so is the general out, manager you know, of the development. Our, our, our it's named after the Colorado Rockies late president, Kelly McGregor. Walsh says Kelly had a vision for the $365 million project. We have emails from, from you know, about 15 years ago where he was talking about this and what's crazy about it is it ended up being about what he wanted. That vision, a hotel for out of town fans, a permanent spot for the Rockies Hall of Fame and luxury condos with a view of the mountains. Studios range from about $500,000 to our, our, our biggest unit left is, is on the bigger end and that's uh, a, a little over 2 million. Office space, restaurants and sports bars. For those without a ticket to the game, you can watch on an outdoor big screen. The biggest thing we have probably is the 30,000 square foot plaza that we think we can activate throughout the entire year with ice skating rinks in the winter, uh, movie nights in the summers. And over time, the ballpark will be getting a facelift too. Some of the revenue from McGregor Square will be going to cover the improvement costs as part of the Rockies 30 year lease agreement. This whole project came about to uh, pay for the improvements that need to be done to Coors Field. So rather than throwing that onto the taxpayers or, or passing it on the Rockies, we just thought that it was nice to develop this, bring, uh, bring life to this block. So Gary, the tattered cover bookstore, which is in Lodo here, is moving into McGregor Square. They're one of the first tenants that have signed on to be part of it. Now, COVID-19 has slowed down some of the leasing opportunities and the condo sales as well. The developers admitted that, but they do feel that that's going to pick up as they get closer to completion. Uh, but the one thing that they do say is that this will bring some life down here to uh, round Coors Field as it steps away from the, the, the baseball stadium. Uh, but also, too, that uh, this is going to happen pretty quick. The condo owners are going to move in as soon as January and potentially even by April. We could see some of the hotel and office space being utilized as well. And hopefully by then, baseball is a bit more fan friendly, Gary. Hopefully, and hopefully they get the Rockies fixed and that that would be a plus, too. Uh, and th that big screen TV, I mean, they use that concept in other cities and it's really pretty cool, you know, to go down there and watch games. Yeah, absolutely. You can da get down there and just it's going to bring a whole new vibrancy down here. And that's the hope and that it'll stay not only just for the Rockies baseball season, but also throughout the rest of the year as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, John, that was interesting. Thanks.